So the course starts here, just follow the white and orange signs down and then there will be arrows directing where to go. In May 2010, Mrs. Foster, she was a history teacher at University High School. I had her for junior year AP history. Um, she was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer at the age of 47. Um, in that May, I was also elected student body president for the, the next year, which was going to be my senior year of high school. So over the summer, you know, I was just talking to my mom and some of the other people on student council saying that we should probably do something nice for Mrs. Foster. And my mom suggested a cancer walk. We put on our first talk walk and raised about $15,000. Uh, we gave 10000 to Mrs. Foster and the rest to the American Cancer Society. Ms. Foster actually, in turn, gave us some of the money back and we started this fund called the Julie Foster Fund and it's for uh, faculty and staff at UHS with serious medical conditions or that might need a little bit of help you know, financing a surgery or something like that. So um, since then, since 2010, we have raised money for breast cancer, brain cancer, and autism and this is the fifth walk so every five years, fifth, tenth, fifteenth, uh, we're going to bring it back for colon cancer to honor Mrs. Foster. I think over the last four years we've raised over $30,000, um, which has been awesome. You know, every year we get hundreds of people out here. It's not just the money that matters, it's the support, all the kids showing up. Mrs. Foster was here for for three of the events, I think. She passed away last May and she just loved it. Her family is always here. They would just hang out as long as they could. Um, and just seeing the people out here, I think, helped her even more than the money that we, we donated. The first year was definitely really big because everyone, Miss Foster was still around and she was able to come to the walk and everyone just wanted to support her but it stayed just as big as it started just because everybody knows it's for a good cause and yeah. the whole community wants to help out. It's a team effort and uh, it's something selfless we can do for the community and benefits our school and around it. She would be so happy. Oh my, she loved these kids. And she loved history. And she was she was the best girl. I mean, that's the best way to do it. So. And, and not only that, but the way she the way she took her illness and um, how much she suffered, and yet she persevered, and she had the character to move through and to keep working until she absolutely could not do any more. She just kept at it. She did not give up, and she was just an example of what of what character can do through an illness. I believe. She said, Mom, can you believe this? What they're doing for me. She was overwhelmed. She was just, she couldn't believe that she meant that much to anybody outside of the family. It's humbling. It really is. I All I can say is it's humbling. And because she was my daughter. That's good. That's good that they were like something. And it's inspiring as well because it shows that one teacher can influence many, many lives and one person can make a real difference and I think her character can just carry over and carry on.